All right, time now for the Geico 15. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit Geico.com to see how much you can save. Let's bring in NFL analyst Emery Hunt to break down the Rams and the entire NFC West. Let's start with the Rams. What needs to go right for this team to repeat? We don't see a lot of repeats in terms of Super Bowl winners, but what would have to go right for the Rams to sort of buck that trend and repeat? You know, that's a great question, EK. I feel like you have to start up front along the offensive line. We know they lose, uh, you know, Whitworth up front, a left tackle, aging guy that, that they retired. But if you can solidify that offensive line and find someone that could bring that additional pass rushing presence opposite of Aaron Donald, then you have something up front on both sides of the line of scrimmage that'll help the Rams repeat. But I think as long as you have Sean McVay and Les Snead working in unison, locks up together front end helping out the back end, front office helping out the coaching staff. This team will always be in contention, and they are also luxury, they have the luxury of playing in a very, I don't want to say easy, but a, a nicer path to the playoffs in the NFC West. Offs, you got to win games. They're at 10 and a half on the board, 17 games. You know, people still think 16 games. No, 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 17 games. So they have to win 11 to cash an over ticket. They have to win 10 or less to cash an under ticket. What do you want to do with that 10 and a half? I'm going to go over. I feel like with the way they can run the football, they're deep in the backfield. But what they have on defense, especially the back seven, they're athletic. They can cover. They can take the ball away. And they still have the best defensive player in football in Aaron Donald. So I feel like those added possessions will help their offense. Second year in this offense with Matthew Stafford, along with an impressive run game, like I mentioned. And yes, Van Jefferson a little bit banged up right now, but we love to see the progression of guys like Tutu Atwell and Ben Skoranek at receivers. So I feel like there's still more for this team to grow at that position. So we'll see that they'll crush 10 and a half by going over and get at least 11 wins. All right, Arizona comes in at nine. They were 11 and six last year, but I don't think people feel like they started fast. They didn't finish great. And sort of the public perception is that fast start was more fluky than that bad finish. What do you see with the Cardinals and that nine? You know, this is a tougher play. I, I was a little bit on the fence with this with these guys earlier in the summer. But I'm going to go over here. I feel like their defense will be much better this time around. They'll be able to stop the run. We'll see a better year from Zayvon Collins. I love what they have in the secondary. J.J. Watt will help Zach Allen up front. They'll be even better this year in tandem. So I like what they're doing within the front seven. They'll be able to be better defensively. And on offense, I think we'll see a more assertive effort to run the football. That's going to help out Kyler Murray. That's going to help out this offense. That's going to help soften the blow for the first six games when DeAndre Hopkins is out. So I feel like the run game will finally show up consistently in Arizona. So I like them going over by a smidge. All right. I would go the other way. I liked where you went with the Rams. You and I will go on opposite sides. But, again, I don't feel great about it either. Now we have San Francisco. I find this fascinating. They have a young quarterback who's going to now have the keys to the car, right, Trey Lance. Five of their first game, six games are against teams who lost double-digit games last year. So he's got a nice way to start. Now, the good news is he can maybe take a little time to get going. The bad news is if they start slow with Lance, this could get sideways quickly because the schedule is going to get hard after the first six weeks. What do you want to do with San Francisco, who right now is at nine uh, in terms of their over-under wins? This is another one that, that was a head scratcher because not only do you have a guy that's making his first couple of starts, first year as a full time starter, but he really hasn't played a lot of football. And so you have to really go back to his time at North Dakota State. That's the first full season of a starter. Then he didn't play much last season. So I feel like we will see a lot of growing pains from a Trey Lance. They're going to try to lean heavily on the run game. We know they can run the football, we know their defense is active. I still worry about their secondary. So I, I would go under here because we still go into a season with the unknown of Trey Lance, and I feel like this division has gotten better, and we still don't know what the quarterback position is going to be for San Francisco. How uh, flatline will his play be over the course of the you know the season? You have to go under here and play it safe. Yeah, and this is why you got to shop a little, right? If you like the over, you, you take it at nine and you win at ten. There are tens out there for San Francisco, so you and I could bet the under, and we win at nine. You know what I mean? That's why you got to kind of look. I've seen San Francisco with over-unders of tens out there that you could grab right now. I'm with you. I would go under that ten. I would shop for the ten and go under as opposed to shop and go over the nine. Uh, meanwhile, then we have Seattle. 
look, no Russell Wilson anymore. They were one in three in the four games that he essentially didn't play. He got hurt in that first game, which they lost, and then they lost two out of three that he sat. I, I mean, they're going to play Russ as coming up as a, as a Bronco right out of the gate in week one. They've traditionally overperformed, but they are now projected to be one of the worst five teams in football. What do you want to do with the Seattle Seahawks in that total of six? They got to go seven and ten to beat us if we take the over. And, and that's where I'm going. I feel like this is a very underrated football team. Defensively, they have gotten better. They are going to be better up front. They've added some pieces in the secondary. However, when you look at that second level, I feel like an underrated player in Uchenna Nuwosu is one of the best defensive players that no one is talking about. He's going to really help boast that second level along with Jordan Brooks as the full-time starter. So I like their defense here. And on offense, quiet is kept. Yes, they lose Russell Wilson, and that's a big loss. But they still will be able to run the football. They'll play complimentary offense. The team really rallies behind Geno Smith. And oh, by the way, they still have Tyler Lockett. They still have DK Metcalf. And in that trade, they picked up a very excellent tight end and no offense. So I still love what the Seahawks bring to the table on offense. Charles Cross, one of the best pass protectors in the draft. They drafted him as an offensive tackle. Jake Curran is on the opposite side. Their interior O-line should be solid. Gabe Jackson up front as well. This is a sneaky football team. I think run game, defense, complimentary passing game will help them win games and help them go over that six number. And again, if you bet the over, they, you know, you seven and ten cashes and over, five and twelve cashes and under. Now, when it comes to this division, what's your bold statement? Fifteen second gut goal bold statement is on the clock. Go ahead, Emory Hunt. I'm going to Seattle Seahawks to finish with a better record than San Francisco. Wow. So I look at Seattle's run defense, their ability to run the football. Geno Smith getting a second chance to be a starter. He's going to relish this opportunity. And he has his best weapons that he's ever had since he was a starter. He didn't have that with the Jets. He's going to have a better situation here in Seattle. I like the Seahawks to finish with more wins than San Francisco. That is a capital B-O-L-D bold. That is going out there on a limb. We're going to clock that one. We're going to cut that one. If that one turns out to be right, I'll play that back over and over and over. Well done, Emory Hunt uh, on the NFC West. So, here you go. He likes the Rams to go over at Cardinals. He said, eh, Hamden Hall. I, that's one I probably would stay away from as well. He, he really is saying he thinks San Francisco is going to take a step back. And Seattle, he thinks is better, and they're being a little disrespected. In fact, his bold statement is Seattle, better record than San Francisco by the end of the year. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.